So now I'm gonna go through the split drill. So basically working off the wall, but having equal split between your legs. Now most people when they set up like this, they'll end up like this and think they're in a split. So let's first take it back to easier variations closer to the wall. So first of all, I'm gonna kick up to my normal back to wall position and then I'm gonna step slightly off the wall and I'm gonna hold that position. I'm gonna try and find a balanced position where my heel against the wall is very, very light. Then I'm gonna do the same on the other leg. And then I'm gonna come back down and I'm gonna grab a marker and I'm now gonna put my hand slightly further away. I'm gonna use the marker to tell me where I am distance from the wall. Do exactly the same drill as we just done. So kick up, go into a split position, light heel on the wall. And swap legs, light heel on the wall. Come back down again and then move the marker another hand space away. Now obviously I'm gonna get further and further away from the wall, I'm gonna create a void. We want to stay in our flexibility from a split, split, a split point of view, and we want to stay within our ability from a safety point of view. So you don't want to take your hands right over here, and then you could fall in this void if you don't have the ability yet to control this distance. So go easy if you're new to this. And then I'm just going to slowly get further and further away from the wall. Now obviously that's going to change to my toe instead of my heel when I'm closer towards a split. And like I was saying earlier, a lot of people do this. So ideally video yourself and check that you're more in this position or get someone to tell you. So you're there, light toes. Now, obviously the, as the distance increases, the time between the toes is gonna increase. Now ideally we should be able to do this slowly and that's a good way of testing it. You can even pause in the straight and come against the wall again. Most people in reality are gonna be like this to start with. They're gonna be heavy towards the wall. But every time you go to the wall, just try and get off to this position where this toe is light, but you're not actually falling off the wall towards back towards the floor like that once we get to around this type of distance away from whoa, whoops once we get this type of distance away from the wall we can start to play with the stag position so with the stag position i'm going to bend this leg and then i'm going to turn this leg over so i'm still on the toe but now i'm on the front of the toe top of the toe what do you call that bit so lock that position in and now i can do the same thing i'm just going to try and release this foot away now this in some ways is an easier position to hold because it's like locked, it's a bit like the crow position. You're bringing everything into the midline, to the base, and it's a bit easier to hold the handstand instead of it being all floppy all over here. So a lot of people actually get longer holds in this stag position. Now obviously we can swap legs, use the wall as needed. And then once you're ready, you can start to play with both of those. So either the split, swapping legs, pausing in the middle and or the stag position same thing but whichever variation you're doing make sure you're going back to your straight position showing control so that number one home position in between and at the start and the end let me know if you have any questions and i'll speak to you next time thanks guys